All right, thanks, John. And people protested in front of MoDOT's headquarters in Jefferson City today after two on-duty MoDOT employees and an unborn baby died in a crash last November in St. Louis County. ABC 17's Joshua Blount joins us live from the headquarters today. And Josh, an aunt and a survivor says MoDOT needs to do more to prevent this from happening in the future. Deb, at least 25 people stood behind me today chanting that MoDOT failed its employees by not providing, providing them with the proper on-the-job safety equipment when they were working on the interstate last November. Michael Brown, Jermaine Brooks, and Kaylin Anderson, who was pregnant, were working on Telegraph Road over I-255 in St. Louis County when a driver crashed through their construction zone. Brown tells me they are supposed to have a protective vehicle vehicles such as a truck mounted attenuator tma for short when they are working in a lane but that but they didn't have one a day when the crash took place jenermaine brooks caitlin anderson and her unborn son died that day anderson's aunt tabitha moore says more training and safety rules will make a difference best case scenario we lose no more mode out workers worst case scenario they do nothing and let workers slip through the cracks again and they just keep piling up names on that MoDOT memorial just down the way here. I also reached out to MoDOT for comment but they declined to comment, comment because of a pending lawsuit. Now coming up at 6 I'll tell you more about what, law, what local lawmakers are doing to hold organizations accountable in this matter. For now reporting live in Jefferson City, Joshua Blount, ABC 17 News. Okay, Joshua, thank you. And MoDOT also has a virtual memorial wall with 138 names of employees who have died on duty, duty since 1932.